I have to tell you, it's not the easiest thing to explain, but I shouldn't feel bad because a lot of doctors don't even know what the health insurance marketplace is. So all this week on NBC 15 News at 6, we're going to try to educate you a bit, bring you up to speed, and tell you why the marketplace on October 1st is so important to hundreds of thousands of viewers in our area when it comes to their health care. October 1, I'm going to be on the computer looking. Definitely I'm planning to still sign up and check things out and shop around and do some price estimates. For hundreds of thousands of Wisconsinites, maybe even you, October 1st is a big day. Little sticker. Generating big questions about something called the online health insurance marketplace or the exchanges. The number one question is, what's it going to cost? What's the coverage going to be? Am I eligible? What does this mean? How much will I have to pay? I think it's very overwhelming. I just don't even know where to start. I've never had to search mm -hmm. for insurance on my own. There's also confusion about what exactly is an exchange. It's a milestone moment in the Affordable Care Act, otherwise known as Obamacare. October 1st is the first day hundreds of thousands currently without health insurance in Wisconsin and others losing coverage like Ronnie oh, there's a lot here. can start shopping at healthcare.gov and start signing up for health insurance coverage with private insurance companies. According to stats from Group Health Cooperative, GHC, at least 640,000 uninsured or soon to be uninsured people in our state will be in the market for health insurance, including about 125,000 that will have to transition off of their Medicaid coverage. Starting October 1st, the uninsured small business owners, any of us, will be able to shop around and see what coverage those 13 private insurance companies here in Wisconsin will have to offer starting January 1st. You'll find out what plans will cost and if you can maybe even get some help from the government paying for the coverage being sold there. And you'll see what the fines are for not getting coverage. According to GHC, more than half of us living in Dane County actually would qualify for federal subsidies, be able to get help paying for the coverage we buy through the insurance marketplace. The fact of the matter is there are a lot of people who don't have access to insurance through their employer and as a result haven't even ever had the opportunity to shop for insurance. Uh, what if a young person is on their parents' plan? But a lot of us have questions about what's happening at Wisconsin's Office of the Commissioner of Insurance Q&A sessions across the state. There are a lot of people who don't have any idea that this law is in fact going to impact them. Fact is, the marketplace, what's happening October 1st, doesn't impact you. If you're a senior on Medicare, you're all set. Nothing happening October 1st changes your coverage. Do you have any other appointments on the books yet? If you're someone who has health insurance, you can still shop around on the marketplace to see if the benefits companies must offer there offer you better coverage. And you might want to see if you're eligible for tax subsidies if you buy on the marketplace. Do you have your member number? But if you're happy with the health insurance coverage you have through work, and most people probably will be, you don't have to do anything October 1st. This many in the morning. For hundreds of thousands of others, like Ronnie, who need that coverage, October 1st will mark a very important first. We are going to be able to help tens of thousands of people in Dane County, Wisconsin, access health care. From whatever plan they choose, this is an historic moment. So what if you decide to not get insurance in 2014? Well, there is a penalty. It's $95 or 1% of your income, whichever is greater. But those fines are going to go up quite a bit after 2014. Now, coming up tomorrow on NBC 15 News at 6, we're going to tell you more about the online marketplace and how more than half of the people in Dane County could actually get federal help paying for their insurance.